Hey everybody, this is Guns and Gadgets on this channel. I bring you Second Amendment news, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. And today, this morning is very important. Why? Because today, the Democrats are again going to try to force through some gun control, and it's something that's not as polarizing as the assault weapon ban. Before I jump into it, I want to mention that I have uh, entered into... Before I jump into that, I want to mention that in this video, I'm going to talk about the biggest giveaway I've ever been a part of on this channel. If you want to know more and enter this giveaway, trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. All right, so the you remember last week, Democrats tried to force through an assault weapon ban using what's called unanimous consent. What they do is they, this is going to be in the Senate, they open up a uh, business for the day, and this is happening today, and they're going to try to have a unanimous vote to pass a bill. Now, all that has to happen, before I jump into the details, all that has to happen is one senator get up and object. And we're still looking for a senator to do that, which is why I need you to pay attention here. All right, so what are they going to try to force through today? And I'm going to tell you why they're going to be so, why they have been so aggressive trying to force stuff through. There's a reason, and it has to do with all of the theatrics going on in the House of Representatives. Okay, what are they going to try to pass? This is it on the screen here. It's S1819. It's a bill by Ed Markey of Massachusetts, who is a clown, and it's called the 3D Printed Gun Safety Act of 2023. It has 10 parts to the bill. It's extremely easy to read. I want you to be aware of it because I need you to spread the word rapidly this morning. Congress finds the following. that three-dimensional or 3D printing involves programming of a 3D printer machine with a computer file that provides the schematics for the item to be printed. Two, recent technological developments have allowed 3D printing of firearms and firearm parts, including parts made out of plastic by unlicensed individuals in possession of relatively inexpensive 3D printers. Three, because 3D printing allows individuals to make their own firearms out of plastic, they may be able to evade detection by metal detectors at security checkpoints, increasing the risk that a firearm will be used to perpetrate violence on an airplane or other area where people congregate. Four, the availability of online schematics for the 3D printing of firearms and firearm parts increases the risk that dangerous people, including felons, domestic abusers, and other people prohibited from possessing firearms under federal law, will obtain a firearm through 3D printing. Five, on June 7th of 2013, an assailant used the gun he had constructed by himself to kill his father, brother, and three other people at Santa Monica College in California. The person had failed a background check when he tried to purchase a gun from a licensed gun dealer. The gun he used was made from an unfinished AR-15 style receiver, similar to the receiver that can now be made with a 3D printer. Six, firearms tracing is a powerful investigative tool. When law enforcement agencies recover firearms that have been used in crimes, the agencies work with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives to trace these firearms to their first retail purchaser. The agencies can use that information to investigate and solve the crimes. In 2019 alone, the ATF traced and recovered 269,250 firearms. Seven, firearm tracing depends on the ability to identify firearms based on their serial number. Traditionally, when the firearm is manufactured domestically or imported from abroad, it is engraved with a serial number and markings that identify the manufacturer or importer, the make, model, and caliber, and are unique to the firearm. Firearms made by an unlicensed individual with a 3D printer, however, do not contain genuine serial numbers. Eight, criminals seek firearms without serial numbers because they cannot be traced. In July of 2018, the Los Angeles Police Department completed a six-month-long investigation that resulted in the seizure of 45 firearms, some of which had been assembled without serial numbers in order to be untraceable. If the schematics for 3D printing firearms and firearm parts are available online, people intending to commit crimes may create serially untraceable firearms in order to avoid accountability for these crimes. Nine. Interstate gun trafficking, including the trafficking of untraceable firearms, interferes with lawful commerce in firearms and significantly contributes to gun crime. Of the 269,250 firearms traced by ATF in 2019, 75,513 of those were originally sold by a licensed firearms dealer in a state other than the state they were recovered. These guns make up 28% of all firearm recoveries in 2019. Final part, the proliferation of 3D printed firearms threatens to undermine the entire federal firearms regulatory scheme and to endanger public safety and national security. 
by making illegal the distribution of certain computer code that can be used automatically to program 3D printers and create firearms, the only means of combating this unique threat. Congress seeks not to regulate the rights of computer programmers under the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, but rather to curb the pernicious efforts of untraceable and potentially undetectable firearms. The Prohibition. 922 of Title 18 the U.S. Code is amended by adding the following. The distribution of code for 3D printed firearms. It shall be unlawful for any person to intentionally distribute over the internet or by means of World Wide Web digital instructions in the form of computer-aided design files or other code that can automatically program a three-dimensional printer or similar device to produce a firearm or complete a firearm from an unfinished frame or receiver. All right, so that is what they're going to try to force through today, and we need to make our calls to our senators. We need somebody to stand up and object to this. You would think they would, but as of just after midnight, last night going into this morning, uh, we didn't have one. Area code 202-224-3121 is the switchboard for the U.S. Capitol. I live in and I want to talk to my senator. They'll transfer you right over. You'll talk to an aide. My name is, I live here. I want the senator to object to the attempt today to force universal consent on the 3D printed ban of 2023. Uh, it's going to come up this afternoon before 5 p.m. Uh, and uh, we need to let everybody know. Now, I'm gonna tell you why the de Democrats are being so aggressive right now. There's two parts to it. One of them, not many people are aware of, but be first, let's talk about this giveaway. Guys, I wanna tell you about Vanish Holsters. Uh, I've teamed up with them for a huge giveaway, but first let's look at this holster itself. It's made from premium, no stink material that is extremely stretchy, it wicks away sweat, minimizes odor, and this waistband, being stretchy and super comfortable, will fit waist sizes up to 46 inches. It won't print, it pulls the gun close to your body, and I've been wearing it for about two weeks with basketball shorts and sweatpants, as well as with all my hoodies, and nobody knows I'm wearing it. It really is one of the most comfortable holsters I own. It has two mag pouches that you can put anything in there, really, it is extremely lightweight, coming in at six ounces, and it fits 99% of the handguns on the market, including, as you can see here, my Staccato CS and the full-size XC. Now, we are launching the biggest giveaway I've ever done on this channel. We are giving one of you this incredible Jeep Gladiator and $25,000 worth of gold, thanks to Vanish. To enter, all you have to do is click the link in my description and get yourself the most comfortable holster you've ever worn, with a money-back guarantee, of course, and Vanish's hooking you up. You can get $40 off now when you use the link in my description, plus they're gonna give you an extra 120,000 bonus entries with each purchase up until December 31st. Huge, huge giveaway, thanks to Vanish Holsters. Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, that link is down below. Thanks to Vanish Holsters for uh, letting me do this giveaway with them. This is huge. Get you that Jeep. All right, so let's talk about why these Democrats are being so aggressive right now. There are two reasons. One of them is strategic. The first one is obviously they're running for office. It's an election year. They want to say, look what I tried to do. The second one is the more important, the one we need to pay attention to, four. Four is the number of uh, seat majority that the Republicans had, past tense, H-A-D. They had a four-seat majority. Well, Kevin McCarthy is leaving. That's three. George Santos was kicked out. That's two. And then uh, Bill Johnson is leaving. That's one. One. Now, I know some people are going to say, wait a second. It's 231 or 219 or whatever the number is. There are some vacancies that haven't been filled yet. But as of right now, there's a one-seat majority by the Republicans in the House of Representatives. And all that has to happen is for the floor to convene and one person to be missing, to be sick, to be out campaigning for the Republicans and the Democrats can force another vote to vacate the House Speaker and they can get theirs in. They can get a Democrat in. That's how close things are in the House of Representatives it's a tough, tough spot for everybody to be in. But that's the situation. So the Senate's kicking things into high gear to hopefully get a day where not a, not a Republican will stand up. And this, 
Uh, this 3D code thing, believe me when I tell you, some of these old, 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 old senators, whether they're Republican or Democrat, they think that 3D code, period, is bad. And you're going to have more people side with this than you would an assault weapon ban because that's a lightning rod, that'll cost them their career. But code? They don't know any, they don't even know what code is. They think that it's Morse code, how they used to talk to their uh, girlfriends back in the, you know, the, the 1800s. Uh, but that's why they're being so aggressive, okay? So this bill is going to come up today for unanimous consent. Hammer your uh, senators, tell them to object to this because if nobody stands up to object, this is going to pass through unanimous consent. It'll be sent to the House where all they're doing is waiting in the wings, salivating for one Republican to be sick. One Republican to not show up when, uh, when they can just force this, uh, this vote here. Uh, it's, it's a way that they're trying to hijack the House of Representatives to have complete control in both chambers of, of Congress. They'll have the Senate, they'll, and then if this happens the way they want it to, they'll have the House. And of course, Bumble and Biden up at the corner office will sign anything that they push through. So 202-224-3121, call your senators now. Don't forget about that giveaway. That's going to be huge. I can't wait to see who wins that uh, yeep. And uh, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Subscribe to this channel if you want to stay in the know. I will let you know what happens today as well. Uh, all you got to do is... Hit that bell icon after you subscribe and turn on the notifications to all notifications. It'll tell you when I go live or put out new content. Have a great day. Share this news. It's extremely important. Take care.